Don't mind my hair, but it's here. It's kind of hard to do this with hands. The Fujifilm X-T4. You guys didn't know, um, my camera, I've been looking to get a Fujifilm for like the longest time. I was going to get the X-T3, um, but it was just so expensive. And finally the X-T4 came out um, a few months ago. And I really wanted it. I was finally gonna get it this month, or on a few like I was actually gonna get it in a few more paychecks. But my Panasonic ended up breaking the SD card slot; won't read anymore. So I actually have to send it in to get repaired. I'm probably gonna do that on Friday. Um, this camera store out in LA, uh, downtown in Chinatown, actually um, repair this camera. They got good reviews. But anyways, I'm gonna repair that. So I had to get a new camera in the meantime, and I've wanted to get this anyways. So I just got it once you get down. The Fujifilm X-T4, I'm going to do a little unbox, it's going to kind of be hard with no tripod in one hand, but I'm going to try to get it done. This is my first ever Fuji cam Fujifilm camera, so it's all brand new to me. So, first of all, let's get some specs out the way. Uh, let's see what it comes with. It comes with, it comes with the, XF, the XF 16 to 80 millimeter um, F.4, um, optical image stabilization. Um, it actually has a 1.5 times crop factor, so that's really a so 16 by 16 to 80 millimeters is actually because a 1.5 crop factor is actually 16, so 1.5. So you do what's half a 16, which is 8. So 16 plus 8 is 24. Um, then half of 80 is 40, so 80 plus 40 is 120. So you do it. So it's really a, for a full for, as a full frame, it's really 24 by 120. So. That's how you do the um, the, the 1.5 crop factor. Um, but anyways, so what it comes with is, so it comes with the camera, a rechargeable battery, battery, a USB cable, the power adapter, a headphone adapter. So this one has like a it's a, it's a USB to a headphone jack. Um, comes with the shoulder strap, the lens, and the lens hood. Oh, that is a nice lens. It's a zoom lens, so it goes pretty pretty close in there. It has ops wave stabilization. This look at this baby it has the classic look of the old style cameras all the ergonomics are perfect it has the flip out screen so you can view yourself if you wanted to it has the viewfinder oh this is nice this is real nice fujifilm xt4 look at that so just put the lens on and this thing looks beautiful oh my god this is the best camera i've ever had let me get it in the light lighter yeah this thing looks looks amazing i gotta put my blue strap on there that i have at the rv oh yeah this thing this thing's amazing okay guys while that's charging we are gonna oh you guys do not know yet over the past couple months we've been doing a lot of reservation renovations to the house um, remember the hell the backyard here? Let me show you the front yard because you have not seen the front yard at all. Um, the last time you seen the front yard, probably if you go back way back in like five videos ago, um, you'll notice that you can come outside. Once. You notice that the front yard was just ugly and had weeds everywhere. So we cleaned it up. We got two palm trees in the front yard. We put uh, mulch down and we planted some. Well, I didn't plant them, but she planted some succulents and flowers and stuff. And the front yard looks a lot better. But we've been doing um, a lot of right oh come on listen. doing a lot of resin renovations to the backyard and the backyard used to be just there used to be just you go out there and you get a little yard for the dogs and then it used to be just a sloped hill. Well we had people come and we leveled that all off. Well not all of it, but we leveled a lot of it off. And we got them building a retain wall. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna show you right now. So he flipped you to the GoPro. So here's the stair, the other set of stairs that go up here. And yeah, so it's a nice view. You can see the mountains over here. It's actually a 16 by 32. Oh, let me turn the filter on. It's a 16. There we go. Now the filter's on. Water's being sucked in. And let me actually show you a clip from the other day when we had the dogs. We bring the dogs in here. And all three of us swim at the same time. We have the toy going and everything. But then after that, I took Winston. Winston's not a very good swimmer. So I took him by myself. And we were playing catch and toss and stuff. He was going to get the toy in the water and he was jumping and it was pretty cool. So let me show you a little clip of that. It's only like a 30 second clip. I'll show you a clip of him in the pool swimming. Up up. Up up. 
Uh, here, here, buddy. Come on. Up, 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 up. Ready? No, 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 no. guys i am officially recording for the first time on the fujifilm xt4 uh, let me know what you guys think about the quality i already can see that the quality looks like really really good there's a lot of settings in this thing um, to get it just right look i can tap the autofocus right here um, as you can see the background's kind of blurry and i'm in focus so i guess uh, so far from testing it out the um autofocus is really good it's really fast uh, a little better than the panasonic um, from when I read reviews that the Panasonic is better on stabilization, meaning the camera is bouncing up and down while I'm walking. But so far, it's doing pretty good. Hopefully, let me know what you guys think. Um, I cannot test the Panasonic right now compared to this because the Panasonic is currently broken. It won't read SD cards. Also, let me know what you think about the audio. Um, I do not have the micro, the little microphone in right now. I'm going to test it without it, and then I'll test it later on at another time with it. Um, but I'm in Beverly Hills, and I'm right by the Beverly Hills Hotel, and look at these houses. These houses are amazing. Like, every house is huge. It's crazy. So we got this big-ass house. I don't know. We got a Lamborghini right here. We got a freaking Porsche right here. Look at this big, big houses with crazy cars parked. We got Range Rover. Here's the Beverly Hills Hotel right here. Here's, like, the little, um, little, the little hotel rooms, I guess. Maybe the bungalows or whatever they are. I've never been in there. Let me get the big hotel right here. Check this house out. Range Rover. Now check this one out. <laughs> Lamborghini parked in there or something. Let me know if you know what kind of car this is. Uh, let me move up a little bit. Do you know? That might be actually like a Corvette. I can't really tell though. So. We got this big house. All these houses are just. All these houses are just huge. Um, it reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We're, we're kind of close to Bel Air, um, but it reminds me of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. All the houses are like two stories automatically and have like these big pillars. Um, and then there's just palm trees everywhere. And you know how I love palm trees. So I'm actually going to take a few shots from right here because this is actually a good angle. I just took a few pictures, a few shots of the palm trees. And now I'm going to go to East LA to get ready for sunset. I only have like 1%, not 1%, but one little bar of battery left. So I'm not going to stay around here taking pictures all day, all day, all night, all evening. So I'm gonna head there. Look at that house. Reminds me of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Crazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna head to, head down to East LA. Um, it's very scenery over there. Guys, I made it to the spot. I am like right next to a highway. I seen some photographer uh, like a little while ago. Not a little while ago, but like a few weeks ago. I seen him post a picture right up there he was standing on the highway on the edge of the bridge and getting uh the train tracks in the city i'm definitely not going up there i don't know he's an idiot for going up there risk getting hit but i'm at a dope, pretty dope spot right next to the highway i had to go around the fence and climb up this little hill uh, to get up here and the city's right here and my camera is actually going to die soon so i'm not going to really record anymore i gotta get a new battery uh, but let me let me focus in here so you can see i don't know how good you can hear me right now yeah, there is the city. There's the city. I'm gonna get a few shots, some night shots, some sunset shots if my battery lasts that long. There you go. Now you can kind of see me in the city. Pretty good view. The east, uh, east, east, I can't even talk. East LA is really scenery. 
lot of scenic uh, spots of the city and the palm trees and everything. So I'm gonna be here for a while, set up, hoping my camera lasts long enough uh, so I can take these pictures. Hopefully I get a good sunset.